Hey everyone, Mary Duck here, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader. As I said in the last video, I've been doing both versions of Imperial Academy Heist the Day and Night versions. I actually cheated a little and set my, uh, my Wii's time, since I play on my Wii, uh, a couple hours ahead so I can access the nighttime version of this mission, which uses the snow speed. I'm not going to give you the mission briefing again, but I will show you the opening cutscenes since they differ. Witch, this is Crix Mady. You'll need to approach the Academy from the south through the mountain pass. Make sure you stay below their sensors. The shuttle Tiberium is the Academy's northernmost platform. Do your best to avoid the Imperial threat. Land your speeder and steal the shuttle. Yes, sir. We'll maintain silence until you have the shuttle. Now you know why this mission freaks me out. I didn't explain an episode. This mission. This version of the mission used to freak me out so much. Because the music, the jammed radar, the... It's just creepy. At least that's what I make of it. And since the snow speeder requires two people to pilot it properly, you know, one for the actual piloting and another for the gunner, you actually get a co-pilot with you. So for the nighttime version of stealing the TIE Fighter, which as I said I was going to do, you come over here onto this branching path and over here. Wedge, what do you make of this outpost? We don't see any activity. Looks unoccupied. Except for that TIE Fighter. The TIE Fighter could be useful. It only holds one pilot. You'd have to stay behind and take care of the speeder. So yeah. See that little black dot there? That's the Imperial pilot. Shoot him. Once you kill the pilot, you simply take control of the TIE Fighter. Now that you have the TIE Fighter, you can just go straight to the Academy. This is probably what I consider to be the safer method of uh, stealing the shuttle from the Academy in the nighttime run of this mission. Unlike the daytime version where if you went to the Academy after stealing the uh, TIE Fighter, you'd be instantly detected and uh, have TIE Fighters swarming you all over the place. This version of the mission is actually a little more lenient. You're not detected at all. I still wouldn't recommend shooting anything though, especially not any of those TIE Fighters. Although there is something I didn't actually show uh, last time. See that TIE Interceptor over there spinning around? Yeah. People call that, uh, at least that's what, what I've heard, they call this guy the Drunken Tie Pilot. And what's funny is, you can take him out, and you're not detected. So that's the only time, the only enemy you can actually fire upon and destroy without getting detected. <coughs> Excuse me. Now... There was a tech upgrade in the building opposite of this one. You received the spread proton bomb tech upgrade. That was right. It was spread proton bombs for this version of the mission. Now, like last time, you have to take out the turrets. I can't steal the shuttle with those turrets still operational. Attention, cadets! The Academy will be locked down in four minutes. Once you take down the turrets, again, just, just take the shuttle and go. Just run. Don't bother shooting anything else, just run. Chris, I've got the shuttle. Mission accomplished. This looks like trouble. Take it fire over here. Hang tight. I'm on my way. Then I get out of here. And like the daytime version, you do get tired receptors to come after you. I still recommend taking down at least a couple dozen fighters or so before heading off to the rendezvous point. As you heard earlier, uh, Wedge's uh, co-pilot that he had to leave behind in the snow speeder was having a little bit of trouble, so now we have to go over to him. Ignore that arrow, orange uh, arrow slicing completely. You actually have to go past him and go over to where the outpost is.
And then we can step one way to get X ways. Awesome. We're on our way. Excellent, Rogue Group. We had to get that shuttle. So, yeah. Very nice touch having uh, two different versions of this mission. And there we go. So, yeah. That's it for this mission. Next time, we move on to a different place. See you then.